All right, what's up guys? Haven't uploaded in a few days, been a bit busy, but today we are going to take a look at Riot, Mira, and Queenspark all in one video. I will have everything timestamped for your convenience. Okay, so let's start off with some crypto news. So if you guys recall, Genesis was a cryptocurrency trading firm that filed for bankruptcy after the collapse of Three Arrows Capital and FTX. Bankrupt crypto lender Genesis filed a motion Friday asking a U.S. judge to approve the sale of over $1.6 billion in Bitcoin, Ether, and Ethereum Classic held in Grayscale's trust products. If the motion is approved, the market could see yet another significant chunk of selling pressure on Bitcoin. In January, bankrupt exchange FTX sold over $1 billion worth of GBTC holdings. That coincided with the price dropping to $39,000 from $49,000. Nearly $1.4 billion of Genesis assets were held in Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which has since converted to become a spot exchange traded fund. It also holds $165 million in Grayscale Ethereum Trust and $38 million in Grayscale Ethereum Classic Trust, the filing shows. Some of the GBTC shares were transferred to the crypto exchange Gemini by Genesis as collateral as part of the Gemini Earn program, the filing stated. Genesis seeks an additional 31 million GBTC shares that were pledged to Gemini but never transferred, the filing added. Genesis and Grayscale made up key parts of Digital Currency Group's crypto empire, which was hit by losses and controversies as prominent funds and exchanges went bust in 2022, sparking a domino effect that caused Genesis to declare bankruptcy last year. Okay, moving into the charts, let's start off with Riot. If you have been following this channel for a long time, you know we love the 61.8% Fibonacci ratio when it comes to Fibonacci retracements and extensions. The 61.8% Fibonacci ratio can also be applied to Fibonacci channels. So the 61.8% Fibonacci channel line in dark green has caught the bull market top in 2017 and in 2021. So it makes logical sense that the next bull market top for Riot will most likely occur when Riot tags the dark green 61.8% Fibonacci channel line. In other words, Riot is definitely going to break over $100 in the next bull market. On top of that, notice that the red 61.8% Fibonacci retracement is at $122.83. As stated before on this channel on numerous occasions, all stocks and cryptocurrencies love gravitating to the red 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. This is further evidence that Riot will break over $100 in the next bull market. Okay, moving into the medium term picture, keeping it short and simple, we will purchase Riot shares under two conditions. The first condition is that Bitcoin drops into the lower $30,000 region as a result of the pre-halving Bitcoin correction. Go check out previous Bitcoin episodes if you want to learn more about the pre-halving Bitcoin correction. Remember, Riot follows Bitcoin. The second condition is that Riot will crash into the blue Fibonacci retracement support area that spans between $4.83 to $8.19. Also notice that the white demand trend line has caught both the bear market bottoms on Riot. Should Riot crash into the single digits again, this could be an amazing opportunity to buy a Bitcoin mining stock with zero debt that should definitely do a 10x in the next bull market. Okay, moving into some indicators, starting with the RSI. The RSI indicator has not had an oversold reading dating back to August of 2023. One bottom signal we are looking for is the daily RSI to go into the oversold region. An oversold daily RSI reading is an RSI reading below 30. The current RSI reading is at 36.86. Moving over to the MACD, on the weekly time frame, bearish momentum continues to increase as both the histogram and signal line continue to decline. That being said, if we move over to the daily time frame, we do have a bullish MACD cross. So perhaps there is some short-term upside, but regardless, as stated before, we are quite confident that Bitcoin will resume the pre-having correction and crash down into the lower $30,000 region. When Bitcoin does crash, Riot should crash harder than Bitcoin. Taking a look at the Riot against Bitcoin valuation. Listen, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything just like with Coinbase stock. The Riot against Bitcoin valuation doesn't look bullish at all. The Riot against Bitcoin valuation loves to move in three wave structures. Taking some three-point extensions, at some point in 2024, the Riot against Bitcoin valuation will retest the white trend-based FIB extension support area. From there, Riot should be an excellent buy for the bull market. That being said, 
should the crypto markets really turn bearish in 2024, as in Bitcoin drops below $30,000, there's a good chance that the riots against Bitcoin valuation makes new all-time lows. Okay, let's move into Mara. So in the bear markets of 2022, Mara stock bottomed at the blue 61.8% Fibonacci retracement and the 1.618 trend base Fib extension. Taking a three-point Fib extension, In the bull markets, Mara should at least hit $143 per share, and if we get super lucky, perhaps we have a chance at tagging the blue 1.618 Fibonacci retracement at $637.29. When the bull markets really takes off, we will narrow down this massive range. But at the moment, Mara is definitely another stock that will definitely 10x in the bull markets. Okay, moving into the medium term picture, Mara stock topped out at the red 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. I do want you guys to take a look at the selling volume on the week of the Bitcoin ETF launch. That's a massive bearish candle with over 680 million shares traded. Anyway, just like Riot, what I am looking for is one, Bitcoin to crash into the lower $30,000 region as a result of the pre-having Bitcoin correction, and two, Mara will crash into the blue Fibonacci retracement support area that spans between $7.51 to $12.96. Considering Mara holds the most amounts of Bitcoin out of any Bitcoin mining stock, if Mara can drop into single digits again, that would be an amazing buying opportunity. Also, just like Riot, notice how the white demand trend line caught both the 2020 bear market bottom and the 2022 bear market bottom. The white demand trend line will come into play soon enough. Okay, moving into some indicators, starting with the RSI. The RSI indicator has not had an oversold reading dating back to September of 2023. One bottom signal we are looking for is the daily RSI to go into the oversold region. An oversold daily RSI reading is an RSI reading below 30. The current RSI reading is at 44.23. Moving over to the MACD, on the weekly time frame, Mara is about to print a bearish MACD cross, which is further evidence of potential downside over the next few weeks and months. Taking a look at the Mara against Bitcoin valuation, the Mara against Bitcoin valuation looks a lot better than the Riot against Bitcoin valuation. I don't believe the Mara against Bitcoin valuation will make new all-time lows. What's more likely is that the Mara against Bitcoin valuation will retest the blue Fibonacci retracement support area over the next few weeks and months. Now, if you have been following our Coinbase episodes back in October and November, we were calling for the Coinbase against Bitcoin valuation to test the red Fibonacci retracement resistance area. The same train of thought applies to Mara. When the bull market takes off, the Mara against Bitcoin valuation will test the red Fibonacci retracement resistance area. If what I just said is correct, that means Mara will outperform Bitcoin by a massive margin. Okay, let's move into CleanSpark. So in the bear markets of 2022, CleanSpark stock bottomed at the blue 78.6% Fibonacci retracement and the 1.618 trend base Fib extension. Given CleanSpark has the lowest market cap out of Riot, Mara, and CleanSpark, CleanSpark most likely has the highest upside potential. Going out on a limb, we think $307.45, which is at the blue 1.618 Fibonacci retracement, is on the cards in the next bull market. Okay, moving into the medium term picture, CleanSpark stock topped out at the red 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, along with the rising wedge trend lines. Anyway, just like Riot and Mara, what I am looking for is one, Bitcoin to crash into the lower $30,000 region as a result of the pre-having Bitcoin correction, and two, CleanSpark stock crashing into the blue Fibonacci retracement support area that spans between $3.81 to $6.19. At some point, the white demand trend line, which has caught all of the 2023 lows, will come into play. Okay, moving into some indicators, starting with the RSI. The RSI indicator has not had an oversold reading dating back to March of 2023. Remember, all indicators are oscillators that will rotate between the extremities. So in 2024, you can be sure that CleanSpark stock will have an oversold daily RSI reading. An oversold daily RSI reading is an RSI reading below 30. The current RSI reading is at 52.23. Moving over to the MACD, on the weekly time frame, CleanSpark stock has printed a bearish MACD cross, which is further evidence of potential downside over the next few weeks and months. 
That being said, if we zoom into the daily time frame, we can see a bullish MACD cross with the signal line and histogram both rising. So perhaps there is a short-term bounce into the red Fibonacci retracement resistance area that spans between $9.29 to $11.49 before crashing again. Closing things off with the clean spark against Bitcoin valuation, the chart looks very bullish for the long term. The clean spark against Bitcoin valuation looks better than the riots against Bitcoin valuation. There are two bullish engulfing candles on the monthly time frame at the 1 to 1 Fib extension. The longer the clean spark against Bitcoin valuation trades sideways, the more explosive the move to the upside will be when the bull market kicks off. Just like with Mera, the clean spark against Bitcoin valuation should tag the red Fibonacci retracement resistance area during the bull market, implying clean spark stock will outperform Bitcoin. Okay, so that's my analysis on Bitcoin miners for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.